What's up guys, it's Shivain and in this video I will tell you guys how you can fix if your search is not working in Windows 10. So this solution will work for all Windows versions including Windows 10. And before I begin with the video, I would just like to tell you guys that if you guys encounter any software related issues, then just comment down below or email us and we'll make a solution video for you guys. Now let's begin with the video. So the first thing I would like you guys to do is check for any Windows updates that you might have and you can do that by going to start and then going to settings and then going to update and security and then checking for any windows updates if you have them just install the latest windows version and check whether that fixes your problem now the next thing is running the search and indexing troubleshooter so just go to start again and then go to settings and then in settings go to update and security again and then this time go to the troubleshoot tab then under find and fix other problems, select search and indexing and then run the troubleshooter. After that, just follow through the troubleshooter procedure and select any problem that may apply and Windows will try to detect that problem and solve it. Once you run the troubleshooter, just restart your PC and check whether that fixes your problem. The next step is ending the search UI process from the task manager. So just right click on your taskbar and then go to task manager. And then once you're in task manager under the processes column just find a process name as search and then click on end task to end it moreover while you're here make sure that you end a process known as cortana and also the process known as windows explorer from the task manager as well and then see if it fixed your problem. If it did not fix the search not working problem in Windows, then you can go on to the next step that is opening up Regigate. So just press your Windows plus R key and then search for Regigate. Then press enter to open up the registry editor. After that, just go to HK local user, then software, then Microsoft, then Windows, and then current version and then scroll down until you find search in search just create a new d word by right clicking on the empty space and then selecting new d word and then rename it to bing search enabled after that just put the value of it to zero and then restart your pc to check whether it fixed your problem now the next step is resetting your windows search service to do that, just go to your task manager again and this time go to the services tab. Then just click on the open services option at the bottom and now in the services window, just search for windows search. Once you locate windows search, then just right click on it and then click on restart. And then also make sure that when you go to its properties, its startup type is set to automatic and if it is not, just select automatic from the drop down menu, then click on apply changes and then restart your PC and check whether it fixed your problem. Now the next step is to re-index search items on Windows. So for that, just open up your Windows Explorer. You can do that by going to this PC and then in the search bar, just type in control panel and just press enter and once you open up the control panel then just search for indexing options in the search bar and then once you open up indexing options go to its advanced settings and then go to rebuild now this process will take up some time but once it finishes it will re-index all the items that you see in your windows search so hopefully it starts working again for you then just restart your pc and check whether it fixed your problem now, if that also doesn't work, then we move on to the next set of solutions. So now just again, go to your Windows Explorer by going to this PC and then go to your Windows C drive. Then once you're in C drive, go to Windows, then System32 and then search for cmd.exe. Then once you find it, just right click on it and then click on run as administrator. Once you open up the command prompt as an administrator, I'll link these commands down in the description below for you to check out. These are the DISM commands and the sfc space slash scan now command. Just run these commands in the command prompt. 
first you run the DISM check health command then scan health and then restore health and then finally SFC space slash scan now command. Now what these commands do is they search for your PC for any corrupted or missing files and then automatically fix or download them from the internet. So these commands are very useful for when something is not working correctly in your Windows PC. So after the commands progress finishes, then just restart your PC and check whether it fixed your problem. Now if your problem is still not fixed, don't worry, we still have a few more solutions to go. The next thing is again going to Windows Explorer by going to this PC and then this time in the upper left hand corner go to view instead of file and then go to options and then select search and then just click on restore defaults and make sure that you have a tick mark next to include system dictionaries and always search file names then check whether it fixes your problem if it did not fix your problem then the next solution is enabling cdf loader so just open up this pc and then go to your c drive after that go to windows then system32 and then search for cdfmon.exe file Once you find it, just copy that file and then press the Windows plus R key to open up the run and then type in shell common startup. I'll link this down in the description below for you to check out. Once you open it up, then just paste the copied ctfmon.exe file into this folder and then open up task manager by going to your taskbar and then opening up task manager. And in the startup tab, make sure that the CTF loader is enabled. You can do that by right clicking on the CTF loader and then clicking enabled. Then restart your PC and check whether it fixed your problem. The final solution that I can offer you guys is using PowerShell. So just press your Windows plus R key to open up run and then type in PowerShell and then hit enter. Once you open up PowerShell, then on your taskbar, just right click on the PowerShell window and then click on run as an administrator then a new powershell window should appear and then you can just close the old one and in the administrative powershell just type in the following commands i'll link these commands down in the description below for you to check out and make sure that you type them in the order that they are given now if this error occurs to you in the second command which you put in don't worry i will make a separate video to fix this issue as well what this is basically saying is that you are currently using the process that is trying to install a package on and that is why it's not functioning properly so i'll make another video to fix this issue but in general it should work for most people then after you put in the commands, restart your PC and check whether your problem is fixed. Now if that even doesn't work then the only thing that I can recommend you is to reset windows. And you can do that by going to your start option and then going to settings. And once you're in settings just search for reset this PC. And then once you reach the reset this PC page, just click on get started and start resetting your PC. So this was it for this video guys, if this video didn't solve your problem, what you can do is just comment down below or email us the specifications of your problem and we can try to make a video especially for you. And if this video did help you guys then just give this video a like, comment down below and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye.